und damit willkommen zurück zu Let's Play Mass Effect 3. Ich habe gestern nochmal nachgeguckt und zwar können wir die Gedenkfeier für Vane noch nachholen. Und genau das tun wir jetzt noch, bevor wir uns auf das Ende... Oh Gott, den Satz kann ich nicht mehr zu Ende führen. Ähm, hier. Ist das die Fahrstuhlmusik aus Mass Effect 1? Und zwar einladen, Koyat. We are gathered here to honor the life of Thane Kreos. Thane touched each of our lives in different ways. The counselor knew him as a hero. The Normandy's crew knew him as a brother in arms, and others as a father devoted to his son. Though his life took him to very dark places, Thane cared for the better angels of our nature. Even when he was terminally ill, he ran through war-torn streets to reach me because he knew I needed help. You all know the results of that day. An assassin, a professional criminal, gave his life for his galaxy. And now he can rest. Would anyone else like to speak? What I remember about Thane was his confidence. He told me once about how he remembered everything, even every mistake he made. If I did that, I'd be a nervous wreck. Thane kept it under control. It's strange, but the last word I label Thane with is assassin. And we covered each other in firefights. That makes him a partner. Thane's last stand was important. But let us also remember why Thane left the Normandy. To keep his son away from a life of crime. Deeds such as these do not go unnoticed by the universe. They echo in all who hear them. That is why I am here. Thane took himself seriously, a trait with which I did not always agree. I tried to make him laugh on several occasions. But what I interpreted as a lack of humor was masking a great effort. Thane was turning his life around in a way few organics do. The day Thane came onto the Normandy, all Kelly and I knew about him was that he could probably kill us all with a ballpoint pen. But after you got to know him, there wasn't any reason to be afraid. He let you know where you stood. Kolyat, do you, uh... When I was little, I thought my father had it all figured out. He said men must be loyal to their friends and dangerous to their enemies. But when he prevented me from, from hurting someone, he had changed. He said enemies and ego are not as important as loved ones. I didn't want to hear it. I was lost. I called him a hypocrite in a thousand different ways. Said that he was going soft. Now, I think maybe he did have it all figured out. That's all I can say. If anyone would like to continue, we'll be here. 
Looks like people are starting to clear out. Commander, thank you for holding this event. In time, it will be a good memory. I don't know if I'll be as philosophical about it. Still kind of raw. I understand. If you will excuse me, I should take this opportunity to speak with the counselor. But what? He is feeling grateful, and I want to point out there are some Solarian biologists who need funding. If anyone would be able to create a breakthrough in the treatment of Keppel's syndrome, it would be them. Tunzi das. If you need someone to hold the counselor's feet to a fire, then there. I appreciate the offer, but Counselor Valorn has recently orated about funding science during wartime. My odds are good. Oh, before I go, I was organizing my father's possessions, and I came upon copies of video messages he tried to send you. I sent them to your extranet address. I hope they help more than they hurt. Until we meet again, Commander. Ich bin mir nicht sicher. Es kann, dass ich jetzt richtig scheiße laber. Aber ich glaube, der Sprecher von Collier ist auch, äh, hat auch Ryan gesprochen in äh, Metal Gear Rising. Kann natürlich sein, dass ich jetzt gerade auch alle verwechsel. Moment, ich muss nach oben. Ich finde es übrigens super, dass sie hier dann halt auch das You als Du übersetzt haben, obwohl ich und Fane uns jetzt nicht mal so nahe standen. Aber wenn es der, ne, der Liebhaber ist, dann sieht sie sich natürlich immer noch. Shepard, if you sent a message back, I didn't get it. I suppose communications from someone of my reputation would be restricted. The irony is, I am a danger to no one these days. I am even paying taxes on my investments. I can't expect Kolyat to do so if I don't. He is doing better. He has no significant other, and he is temperamental. But he is employed and staying out of crime. I can tell he is serious about changing. It has cost him more than a few friends. Send something back if you can, Shepard. I can only learn so much from news reports about you. I have tried a false identity to try to get this message through to you. We'll see if it works. I have good news and bad. The good news is that Kolyat and I took a few days to visit Earth. Light the shade of her eyes. Trill sound of chirping stops. I scan the ground. See two tiny bodies locked by claws. Excuse me. As I was saying, we saw a beautiful sunset in New Mexico. And a scorpion eating a cricket. I wish you could have joined us. The bad news is, I had... I fainted and struck my head. Kolyat has convinced me to stay at Huerta Memorial on the Citadel. I will be there from now on. I still don't want to die in a hospital. But it's where the doctors are. And Kolyat. I love him. That means I must trust him. Goodbye, Shepard. Let me say that now, in case I cannot later.
Das finde ich cool, dass sie Fane nochmal reingebracht haben. Meine, hier zu dem Zeitpunkt ist er ja schon tot, deswegen... Das habe ich auch erst vor kurzem erfahren, dass er Mr. Teddy jetzt hier ist. Und dann dachte ich erst so, Moment, das kann man doch noch gar nicht machen vor dem Angriff von Cerberus. Oder beziehungsweise da macht es ja wenig Sinn, weil man da Tali und so noch nicht hat. Aber das ist wirklich gut gelöst. Ungelesene Nachrichten, was denn? Mit Grunt? Ach man, du kommst ja auch zu nichts, ne? Also einmal nach C-Sec. You're cleared to dock, Normandy. Do you need ground transport? I need to get to the embassies. Yes, Commander. Also ich ermute, dass es mal da ist. So many pieces to put back together since the Cerberus attack. We're reeling from the implications. Udina in league with Cerberus trying to murder the Council. These are dark days for all of us. You got your work cut out. You and me both. Ja, das bringt uns gerade ein bisschen wenig. Spectrebüro. Also, ich glaube nicht, dass es da noch irgendwas gibt, aber. Auszeichnung für Captain Riley, ja sowas von. Sie dem ist Unterhaus. Ich habe gerade echt keine Ahnung, wo ich hin muss, damit ich das machen kann. Hier ist doch irgendwo, irgendwo ein, wie heißt es, ein Skycar, damit ich zum Silver, Stri äh, äh, Silver Sun Strip kann. Aber ich kann es vielleicht von hier aus, wenn ich hier, da. Da drüben, das sieht gut aus. Officer, someone requested my presence concerning an incident with the Krogan. Right this way, Commander. So, Grunt. Anything you want to tell me about? Uh, this clown wants to take me to lockup. Figured I'd give you a call. Straighten this out. Commander Shepard, I apologize for the intrusion. This Krogan insisted we contact you. 
It's okay. I'll vouch for him. I'll sign any paperwork you have, officer. Yes, sir. What happened? I don't know. Drank a bit, left the hospital, broke a few windows. Before I sign you out, everybody walked away from this in one piece, right? Sure, yeah, everybody's fine. Hospital's seen better days, though. <laughs> right. Tell me about the windows. A couple of squad mates broke me out for my birthday, tried lowering me down the side of the building on a rope. It didn't work out. It's your birthday? No. I'm tank bread, remember? Anyway, we got some pictures on the Krogan Memorial. In the Presidium? Yeah. When CSEC got there, they were mad. Or maybe they were mad about their car being on fire. I can't remember. Why was it on fire? I threw my bottle of ring call at it. Pretty strong stuff. <laughs> Went up like a bonfire. The CSEC guys jumped out. Then I figured they didn't want it, so I took it. We didn't get very far before they shut us down. Sprayed us down with riot foam. <laughs> didn't work so well on me. And why's that? Because I was on fire. You know, from the car. Come on, Shepard, keep up. Right. Sorry. So how did they catch you? Got hungry. Bought some noodles. Grunt, you apologize to the nice man for setting his car on fire. Fine. I'm sorry for setting your car on fire. And I won't do it again. Good. Now, officer, I can pay for any damages that may have occurred. That's what you've been signing for, Commander. You're lucky, Krogan. Don't let me catch you up here again. You won't. Thank you, officer. So, how were those noodles? A little spicy. You're my hero, Grunt. <laughs> Na, warum kann ich dich nicht wieder auf der Normandy haben? So, wer will jetzt gerettet werden? Samara, nee. Irgendwie nicht. Ähm. Maschinendeck. Do you ever feel awkward being the only Turian on the ship? I don't know. Should I? I just mean not having anyone else like you around. Mm, doesn't seem to bother Liara. But she can eat their food. Hey. 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 Ah, okay. Also scheint da schon alles eingeloggt zu sein. Ich meine, war ja auch im Citadel DLC so, also... War mir halt noch nicht sicher. Was mit dir? Looks familiar. I've been studying this ship. Its crew. There was a Normandy before this one. You died in an attack. Something like that. But then you were resurrected to fight the Reapers. Maybe you and I have a thing or two in common. But you have something else. The reasons you fight are still alive. The friendships of the people around you. And more. You and the Quarian are joined. You could say that. I'm not. Your pheromones are. Is this why you wish to continue living? For their affection? Yeah. Without that affection, all I have in my life is death. And that's not enough. Yes. What about you? I respect your reasons for being here, but I get the feeling there's something more, Javik. What's in here? It is called the Echo Shard. Passed from soldier to soldier, Prothean to Prothean. Each adds their memories to it. Like a beacon. 
How far back does it go? To a time before the Reapers. It is all that is left of my people. And you don't want to remember that? Imagine if everyone you knew was dead. You could not remember their faces, or the color of the sky above your home. The memories were gone, but so was the pain. Would you want to remember that, Commander? Even if it meant watching everyone die again? If I had something like this, seeing Earth again, whole, with everyone still alive, that would be worth the pain. Before the Reapers, the stars belonged to us. Civilization flourished. There was the Quasar Fortress of the Tarandi Vale, the ice canals of Judah IV, the Palisades of the Verum Angelic. It was magnificent. But then... What is it? The Reapers came. Planet by planet, we were extinguished. We fought back. I... You okay? I once commanded a ship like this one. A loyal crew with many friends. It's captured. Only I escaped. What happened to them? Indoctrinated. The Reapers sent